Oh my god! Hi! Ta-da! If you're new, you'll be like, why are you so awkward? And if you're an oldie but goodie, you will know that I have my tail between my legs because I have done this so many times, like, ta-da! I'm back, and then I go away, and then I come back again. Thankfully, life has normalized. Life has normalized. For those of you who don't know, we have been building this house where I'm sitting at right now for the past bunch of years. We should have been able to move in here at least three years ago if things had not gone completely wrong. So we have lost faith in humanity. We have lost trust in humans, human beings. We have had all kinds of things happening, you know? starting from a flood um, to like a theft to um, having emergency spinal surgery last year w uh, to having to live in a hotel we have had quite a rough patch but um, now things have been looking up i'm very careful at saying that because you know what happens when you jinx it it's just yeah anyways i don't care what happens happens but now, as of now, I decided I'm going to start showing you our house bit by bit. I posted on Instagram, so if you want to go shameless plug, go follow me on Instagram. Um, I posted a photo of our living room, how it came, how it turned out. And um, if I show you our house, if and when, Mind you that there are still some like bits and pieces that are missing. We need to kind of bring a little bit more coziness and personality into the rooms. But um, that's why we have interior designers to, to do that to help us. There will be some additional little pieces that are coming to make it um, a little bit more personal and, and cozy and warm. So that is that. Uh, the other thing is I have put on a massive amount of weight. Well, it's not a secret. I mean, you have seen me being chubby for years. Um, this is just something I do. I put on weight when I'm stressed and uh, this is just my way of coping. It's not a healthy way of coping and I'm not ashamed to admit that. Like, I'm ashamed that I have that problem, but it's just I know that it affects a lot more people than just myself. Um, as opposed to me thinking that this spring would be the time when I would be shedding some weight. Uh, stress has been just overwhelming. And that's just something that I do is I overeat. So if you're triggered by fat people and people who are overweight, I'm not promoting overweight. And I'm not saying that weighing 300 kilos is healthy and beautiful. But I'm saying um, never judge a person by the way that they look because you never know what they're going through. That's all I'm saying, okay? Uh, I'm not going to come here and show you bikinis and kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not vulgar like that. Um, and I'm not going to say that being the way that I am is healthy and I'm not going to promote that. But I'm also promoting a little bit of kindness, okay? Because I'm very aware that I look a certain way. And that, ridiculously enough, has kept me from filming videos, like, a lot. I have always thought that you guys would laugh at me or, or that I'm just... How should I put it? It's just that if you know you could be better and you're not, and you're failing at it miserably, you feel ashamed yourself. You internalize it, and it's like... I cannot blame anyone else but myself for that thing that I have. But equally, there have been so many situations that are not dependent on, on me or things that have happened to me or to our family that are just way too much. Way, way too much. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say, <laughs> is that this is just my reality for the moment. Um, it's not like I'm eating a bag of chips every single day, but it's just that I have the thing that when shit hits the fan, I will attack food in a very short period of time. And it's just, it's a self-soothing 
thing. If you have ever read about um, addictions or, or just dysfunctional activities in general, then you will know that they are they are like a pacifier. They are like a self-soothing mechanism, which um, it doesn't work, but that's what it is. So right now the plan is to kind of take it a little bit calmer like it has been a whirlwind i i mean i don't want to sit here and complain and be like oh my god like oh my god my life is so hard because i live in a magnificent house now the the hardships have paid off but also i still cannot get over the fact that we have contractors coming in and out every single day there are days when the entire driveway is filled with cars and it's just, it just, oh, even thinking about this, like, gives me, like, a rash. Today there are people as well, but they're working outside, so there's nobody sawing and, and drilling in the house, uh, stopping me from filming, so that is great. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it just gives me so much anxiety. I'm sure a lot of you will relate, but having strangers in my house and... I'm not lying to you if I'm saying that the past nearly two years, for nearly two years, we have more or less not had a break in like people coming in and out of our house or being around our house. So we decided we're going to take a break. Like, we're going to take a break. I can't anymore. There are still things that need to be completed, but... I think our mental health, both mine, my husband's, and our kids' mental health, uh, takes the cake. So, uh, so we're going to kind of calm things down. It's going to give me a lot more opportunity to film because, you know, I get the creative juices flowing. Not that I'm so creative in here, but I do have like little plans and wishes that I want to do with the channel and and things that I want to implement in here, but enough of that. You came for the handbag collection. I'm gonna show you my bags, and um, before I go ahead, thank you so much for those of you who are still sticking around and still giving me like the 20th chance uh, I'm giving this weird YouTuber because uh, she comes and goes like an eclipse of a sun. But really, I'm very thankful that you're still here and I'm gonna make it worth for you. I hope, I hope at least, okay? Let's set the bar high. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna show you my handbag collection as it is today. I hope some eye candy will make it fun for you. So this is where I keep most of my handbags. I say most of them because I placed a few of the handbags over there and then I also have one handbag sitting over there. But I have been actively selling some handbags. And I also have one new handbag to show to you. And I'm like, yes, I said I'm good. But um, I do have one little surprise for you guys. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to grab the bags, like one by one, show them to you, and then... We'll see what happens. First one is underground. I'm gonna show it to you right now. The first bag I'm sharing with you is a Speedy 40. In the personalized version, this is the one I chose with this beautiful pop of color. I got this with the idea of having like a very fancy um, poolside bag. I have used it a lot as well. There's still some uh, sunscreen drops on here, which I uh, refuse to remove because this is something that holds my holiday memories. Now, it got a little break during the you-know-what time when we were not able to travel around, but funnily enough, I'm using also this bag in the household. Currently, it um, contains all of my IT gear, but I do use it in the summer as a kind of grab-and-go. My stuff is inside there, kind of if I go lounge outside by the pool or just need to carry things in the household. Not like cleaning products, but I mean like I, I do use this bag quite a lot uh, just because I want to get use out of it. So I do use it quite a lot. This is one of my 
newest bags. This is the Prada. I don't know what the exact name of it is. It's the Prada uh, re-edition crossbody something, something, something. But basically, this is like the... Um, Oh my god, the version that everybody has, everyone and their mother has, but this is like a rectangular version and I find this one to be a lot more practical. I think this is even, is it cheaper or is it just like $50 more expensive or is it the same? I think it's the same price. I think it's the same price, if not even cheaper. Anyways, this fits so, so, so much. It has a, like a front pocket here, which is great for your phone or something that you just want to keep apart has a huge compartment with another like back compartment zipped compartment this is what the smaller one doesn't have and um, comes with that dongle piece which I've always found to be ridiculous but um, I'm using it now so yeah I really really enjoy this bag and even though I truly thought that buying nylon at that price point was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it still is. It still is. Okay. It still is. But I do use this so much that for me, it just makes sense. This is my Chanel Reverso boy bag. I've had it for quite a few years and I've decided to sell it. Yes, wow, shocker. I think I'll, I'm not the only one who kind of made an inventory of my entire life and my stuff and all that kind of things. I had to just admit that this is not a bag that I grab a lot. I love this bag and I, and I would love this bag to kind of really become used and loved and all that. But frankly, I don't get along very well with like these combination chains. Um, uh, straps like chain and leather strap it's just I don't know I don't grab it as much as I would want to grab it and this is literally the same bag as my Dior Diorama bag like the the, the the shape and the way that it works is exactly the same and even though my Diorama bag is a lot more gentle because it has lambskin and this one can kind of take a beating I still feel that it's a lot more feminine, a lot more of a, I just, I, I don't need this bag. So I'm at this point where I'm not using it, I'm ditching it. So this one is up for sale. Um, great bag though. It's just, I'm not using it. I have plenty other black bags that I'm using. For example, this one, this is the Bottega cassette bag. Uh, crossbody version. I love this bag. I wanted this bag so 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 much and I'm so glad I got it eventually. I mean I waited a little until the price went up by a couple of hundred dollars but <laughs> I got it so much cheaper than what it goes for now. Would I buy it at current price? In all honesty, no. I would not but I think I wouldn't buy most of the things at their current price. That's kind of like the painful thing. If I was to start my luxury collection today, I would make a lot more sane decisions. That's at least what I think. But I love this one, the squishiness and everything. So this is definitely one of those black bags that I do use a lot more than the Chanel one. So love it. Moving right along with a controversy. And... Um, I'm going to tell you right here and right here now that I've started to use my Balenciaga bag. Um, I was thinking of selling it, like absolutely. I was like selling it, absolutely no question about it. I don't want to touch another Balenciaga item. Um, and this is currently the only this is currently the only Balenciaga item that I have. But came a day, a couple of weeks ago. I needed a black bag, uh, a crossbody bag where I could throw a little bit more crap than usual, like my umbrella and a lot of other things as well. Some of them pointless, some of them non-pointless. Very useful, you know? You know what I mean? And I was just like, I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. Yes, this is Balenciaga, but this is Balenciaga before the crap happened. And 
you know I'm not going to cut this back because this is this would also be really bad for the environment and even though I was always the one who said it's gonna take me years to use something from Balenciaga it was a practical decision like I needed to use a bag like this and I'm just happy it's a blackout version so you know no huge logos I'm not promoting them I'm just using a black bag to go about my business that's all having said that would I buy anything from Balenciaga ever again uh no my bum bag mm, I have considered selling it many a times just because I don't use it okay some people are okay with like not using things putting them in the back of their closet and then taking them out again 10 years from now I kind of get like a physical itch when I'm just seeing things that I have not be getting the use and the love that they deserve so every time I look at something that I haven't used for a few months I'm like should I should I not and then this one has been definitely one of those because I'm just like gosh I, I mean I am a chubby girl do I need more chubbiness here and I mean I was the one who proudly rocked it when I got it like I'm and I inspired a lot of you guys to buy it if you have a flatter chest like I do I don't have a massive cup it doesn't bother me in the front here but do I want like logo right like right where my face is at I don't know but at the same time I don't also I cannot say that I'm not going to regret selling it because I'll tell you something it looks cool as a bum bag as well I've never used it like that but it looks cool so for now I still have it in my collection and not ready not ready to part yet because it's also been discontinued it's not like I can sell it and then if I really really regret it I'm gonna have a hard time replacing it so I'm gonna keep it moving on to my Queen Elizabeth this is how I call the Alma BB in the epi leather uh, Queen Elizabeth why I, I don't I don't give names to my bags I don't do that I just I think it's stupid but if you do do that it's fine but it's just I would feel so ridiculous calling my bags like a certain name no this is the only bag that has a name this is the Queen Elizabeth bag it's not really a name it's just a description but why because this really gives me like queen vibes it's like i'm very prim and proper even though i've said it many times i like wearing this bag with sneakers with timberlands in the winter um it goes well with like anything like a sportier look like a less sporty look and it's a really nice durable bag this is the kind of bag that i don't have to think a lot if there's a winter event it's, it's pouring now rain, it's hail or whatnot. This can take anything, you know? And I can set it down, it has the feet. It's just a very easy grab and go kind of bag. Not in your face, but uh, still a very classic, beautiful silhouette. So that is that. My next prim and proper bag is the Celine uh, micro bag. Uh, you know top handle it like a Kelly or wear it with the shoulder strap which um, I have to admit the shoulder strap does kind of slide off my shoulder so I generally wear it as a top handle bag this is in a very very dark blue color I have a few stains I always have stains on on this one I, it just needs a little bit of a wipe down but um, yeah really love this bag it's a beautiful silhouette again this bag has <laughs> increased massively in price like absolutely crazy I think I got it about I want to say four years ago five years ago four um, it, it's a gorgeous bag this is a bag that is great to take to the office it doesn't fit a laptop but it fits everything else that you need for a day and it's not too in your face. It's just very beautiful and professional and I like it. My Celine Nano luggage bag. This is about as micro as I get with a bag. Like on my frame, 
looks like a teeny tiny bag but actually it fits a lot it really fits a lot it fits like a, a bottle of water and then all of your crap and it's just a very practical and beautiful bag i have it in the softer leather just because i feel that the softer leather looks so much better than the grain version i i just there's something about grains i used to have this bag in a yellow like in a mustard it's not it was not yellow it was a mustard color in grain and i was trying to figure out was it the color that bothered me or was it the grain i think it was the grain so i parted ways with it and uh this one still stays in my collection has this really lovely useful nifty little thing where i can hang up my sunglasses i know i thought in the beginning like what the hell is that super practical in the summer if you nip into a store and you just want to hang your glasses there for a second it's it's very practical but um yeah cute little bag now an oldie but goodie i have also considered selling that many a times because i do have similar bags uh but i can't bring myself to do that it's the gucci soho disco bag <laughs> Now, technically, this bag has been discontinued, but I have seen it pop up in some, um, what's the word? Outlet stores. Wow, my brain's having a tough time today. Anyways, I've seen it in outlet stores. I think I recently saw it in Amelia Liana's video that they still had versions of it. Maybe they do it, maybe they do make it for the outlet stores, but this is like it's just a carefree simple black camera bag perfect for traveling perfect to just like i don't know go for a bike ride it can take it can take a lot and if you don't want to have the logo you just turn it around it's just a plain simple cute camera bag and yeah i don't think that i'm gonna sell it even though like i said i get this kind of itch to sell things when I don't use them constantly and this is one of the bags I don't use that often but um, it's still a very useful thing to have in my collection I feel. Let's go for something bigger and heavier. This is my Proenza um, PS11 in the I don't know is it the large size the medium I don't know this is I think it's the medium I think this is the medium bag this is kind of like a slightly larger version it also comes in a smaller version and then like a tiny one cute 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 um got it pre-loved super good deal uh actually for a steal and i don't use it quite as lot why because it's quite a heavy bag actually it has quite a lot of hardware quite a lot of leather it is a heavier bag but this is something that i do grab mostly when it's um fall winter like around that time this is a great bag to have it fits a lot and i just i love the style of it it's a funny bag because i didn't like the style of it before but hey tastes change and uh, people change clearly grabbing the queen of my collection the queen well i had queen elizabeth but this is actually the queen she is not the oldest bag that i got that i've got but this is the oldest chanel that i've got this is the chanel maxi and i think i've had it now for about i want to say eight years nine I, I don't know anyways this is a chanel maxi i've used it a ton i haven't used it lately as much as I did a few years ago but it fits a lot obviously it's a maxi bag it's the double flap so it doesn't fit quite as much as a single flap would but she's the queen she's the granny in the collection she's looking down on everybody else and seeing what they go for now I'm I'm one of these people who is like slightly scared to wear Chanel out in public because this one costs double than what I bought it for, which is ridiculous. If we all would have had a crystal ball back then, I think we would have 
we would have gotten a few of them <laughs> and archived a few and then sold them um, and gotten our money back. But yeah, I love this bag. Holds a lot of sentimental value as well. My oldest bag, this is the Louis Vuitton Sommer bag. I had a few uh, bags before this one, but I have ended up selling them. Why? Because I don't keep things that I don't use, okay? I do sometimes regret that, but my style has changed as well. And I know, I pretty much know I would have never grabbed those bags, even though I loved them in the beginning. But this is currently the oldest bag that I've got. It's starting to look a little bit vintage, you know, but um, it's about, I, I'd say it's about eight years short of being actually a vintage officially. But um, yeah, I cannot part with this one. This is a really practical bag actually. Not in style right now, but also at the same time, timeless. It's just a beautiful crossbody bag. Moving on with Louis, I have the Speedy B25, which, yes, I got it because Jerusha made me do it. I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah, she, I think there are a lot of us who got that bag because of her. I generally don't like to think of myself as being easily influenced. Like, I am influenceable, influenced by people, but... Not like that easily, come on, come on. But uh, this one, it is great, but the fact that it has like full monogram everywhere, it's not that the trends of like muted logos has hit me now. I have, I just, I, there are some, some places where I just don't wanna have a lot of logo on me. So I don't use it just quite, quite as much. But this is a really practical and nifty bag, I'm not gonna lie. I still very much like it. Okay, so you know we all make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. I wanted to have a Louis Vuitton Noé bag for forever. Like really for forever. But I never found, I wanted to buy it pre-loved. I wanted one that was really like mm, honey brown, um, patina like really well that's what i wanted but they were so expensive they're still very expensive in the pre-love market and they were nowhere to be seen or to be found online like they were always unavailable and then this one popped on the website and i bought it but i actually wanted to have the monogram version I know, ridiculous, right? So then when the monogram version came, I got it as well. But the, the, the fact of the matter is that I prefer the monogram version to the Damia Iben. And even though, Damia Azor, I mean, even though I have used this, uh, it's not really my thing. So it is really stupid. I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. If I sell it now in the pre-loved, I, you know, it's readily available online. So I'm not gonna get even like remotely close to what I paid for it. So I think I'm gonna like keep it in my collection a little bit, let it patina a little bit more because people do like to buy things that have a beautiful patina. But this one, I love. I love, I, I want this to, to like really, really get a super strong patina. Oh, and I'll tell you another thing. I'm normally not that pathetic, but I went to the um, emergency at the hospital with this bag last year, and I had to wait in the waiting room for like five hours before it was my turn. And it all like ended and resulted in me getting a um, an emergency surgery. It was a matter of hours, or had I had my surgery a few hours later, I could have ended up in a wheelchair. So this bag, <laughs> I think it also reminds me of the hospital because I had it with me when I went in. So 
Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's that, but I also, I'm not the biggest fan of Damia Azor on myself, but um, I do like the way that this bag is going to turn eventually. I hope so. Let's wait and see. The puzzle bag, the Loewe puzzle bag. Now, I haven't used it in quite a few months, but am I going to part ways with it? No, absolutely no way. I mean, it's logical that if you do have more than like three or five handbags, you're not gonna be able to physically use every single bag all the time. And especially since we've been so busy with the house and everything, I mean, <laughs> It was my little pastime of putting on kind of like a podcast or listening to an audiobook and like change out bags. Now it's like, cannot be bothered, don't have the time for it. So I just end up using the same bag every day like a normal person basically. So I haven't given it that much love the past year, but it's still the bag that I take with me, especially when in the colder months and I... I still very much like the aesthetic and um, yeah. The Pochette Matisse in Emprunt Leather in the color Cherry Berry. It was a limited edition color, but I still very much love this bag. It comes across a lot more red than it actually is. I have a few other videos about this bag where the color is a lot more true to what it is. It's, it's actually like a really beautiful, uh, Bordeaux red does this help uh, I don't know maybe this a little bit more it's not a like it's not a true red because I'm not actually not a red person at all so this is a lot more of a wine color like a, a wine color I love this bag this is so handy um, I've said it many times, I would I would have this bag in so many other colors if I didn't have all the other bags. I mean, I have to draw a line somewhere, okay? But I'm a fan. I'm a fan, especially of the Emprunt leather because it ages, like, beautifully. That's just my opinion. The Chanel Wallet on Chain. Technically, technic, technical, technically, it's not a bag. Technically, it's a small leather good but i think all of us who own it use it as a bag right don't we it's a great thing to go out at night if you just need your phone a few cards some cash and a lipstick it all fits in there it's also great to have if you have like a larger tote with you that you put like your personal items into this one you know, your passport, your phone, things that you want to have close by, and then you have a larger tote with you. Um, it's just multifunctional uh, in that sense, you know? And it's it's a great, great little thing to have when you go on a trip. Packs real nicely, you know? You don't have to worry about it. And, and yet you have like a little piece of, of classiness when you go out at night. And the chain also looks so, so, so beautiful. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, love it. Staying on a Chanel train, this is my Chanel double flap in the jumbo size. Also in caviar leather. I think I forgot to mention that the other one was also caviar leather. And then the wallet on chain is a lambskin. So I have two larger items that are in caviar. And, um... Oh, I love it. Um, I hadn't used it like in a very long time and a few weeks ago I just took it out and I use it like day in day out straight no matter where I went I was like with this one and I just newfound love newfound love I mean I've always loved it I'm, I'm so happy to have it in my collection but I'm also a little bit like ooh, careful about the price because in all honesty, if something did happen to it, if it went down in flames, I am not sure if I could cough up that amount for all the nastiness that Chanel is doing right now. That's just, that's how I feel about it. You can feel differently. That's your, uh, that's your human right. <laughs> Take a pouch. Look at it, look at it. 
it. It's such a beautiful color. I wanted a pouch also for, for like forever. When it came out, people were, you know, giving it really nasty names, like close your ears, but uh, comparing it to different body parts. Listen, I'm all here for a joke. I'm all here for a good joke. Um, I, I have a bag coming up that looks like a kidney. So it's all cool and well, but I think I even filmed videos saying like, why I will never buy this bag. Look at me now, and I love it, I love it. Also got it pre-loved, really great deal. I, I don't regret it, I don't regret it because I didn't pay full price, you know? It would have hurt me a lot if I had to pay full price. So it, it had never been used and the person was just like, I'm not gonna bother. So happy to help, happy to help take things off your shoulders. And the color is just magnificent. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag for the summer months, especially. Like, I mean, all bags are all season, but I just, I gravitate towards this one when it's the summer. Also packs real nice, you know, like you just flat as a pancake, you can pack it with you. And you have a really great sizable pouch for the evenings. Keep it as small or as large as you want. The choice is yours. Then I have this one, the Celine Classic Bag or the Celine Box Bag. Classic Bag is like the official name, but it's called Box Bag because of the box leather. Um, what can I say? It will be discontinued for sure because Phoebe Philo is coming up with her own handbag range, I think end of this year. So if you are into it, run, don't walk. If you want to know about a flaw of this bag, however, though, I do have a video about that. I'm going to pop it up here because it's over here. It's quite annoying, but um, at the same time, I cannot deny that the silhouette of this bag and the, the just like the function of the... Uh, it's a beautiful bag. And this is currently the most pop of color that I have in my collection after the... Louis Vuitton uh, Pochette Matisse, but this one is a lot brighter and I mean, look at the inside. <laughs> if this doesn't make you happy, I don't know what does make you happy. I told you I have another body part bag. This is the kidney bag. This is my Dior saddle bag. And granted, I don't use it as much as I once imagined I would use it because, you know, I've gotten so fat <laughs> It just it doesn't look good on me. It just doesn't look good on me uh, But I'm waiting for the day that I shed a little bit a little bit a lot I hope um, and then I'm going to rock it. I like this bag. I I really do. It's quirky. It's fun. It's a classic it will be around for a, lo a lot longer than the haters might think then my on the go tote this is the prim and proper side and then this is the side where it's starting to sag now i'll tell you honestly i haven't filled up the bag so it's just sitting on a shelf and sagging away so if you want to keep the shape fill it up i don't really care because if i put things inside this just goes away i'm not that particular about it and i like a little bit of a sag so I'm cool with it. Um, it's a great practical bag. I do use it mostly for, um, what do I use it for? It's like, hold on, what do I use you for? I've used it for work a lot because it's like a black bag. It's not, I mean, it is a little bit of in your face, but it's also not like too much in your face. And I also use it as my carry on when I am doing like shorter trips and don't pack like, a huge ton loads of things that was a beautiful that was a beautiful english sentence wasn't it um so yeah i'm i'm super happy i got it again before all the price um price increases would i buy it today i don't know i don't know i don't know take it away from me and we'll see okay but also don't take it away from me please then another black uh, tote bag um, well, it's not a classic tote bag, like it's more of a hobo style, but, or like, it's more of a bucket bag 
style. This is the Celine bucket bag, just with one strap. This is a wool strap. The, the thing that I like about this strap is it doesn't fall off. It just, it doesn't fall off. You can do whatever it is that you need to do and it doesn't fall off. It sticks to your clothes without like sticking and really damaging it. Sorry about the sun. There's nothing I can do about the sun, okay? I can just turn down the brightness. Anyways, really like this one. A great bag for the winter months. I don't know why, I just gravitate towards this one in the winter months. The downside, you bump into things and you bump into like, you know, you're going to you're going to scratch the corners. That's just what you need to know about that bag. Other than that, beautiful and perfect. Now I have a little bit of a collection <laughs> of a bag that I'd never thought that I would be that obsessed with, but this was my first one. This is my Neverfull I got more than 10 years ago, I think, with the pink interior, you know, love it. This has seen a lot of things. It also has a little crack in the can, like not a crack, I think it was just something cut into the canvas. It's just a really small little nick, you know, which I'm cool with. But this is really a bag I don't worry about. And I love the color it has turned. Love everything about it. But then since I do handbag videos, this is a really great excuse to like hoard more, right? I wanted to try the MM size. So I have the MM size with the beige interior. I thought that I would be way too large to carry the MM, but it totally works. Love it, super practical, fits also ton loads. And I feel that since I have the MM, I use the GM a little bit less, but then <laughs> I went overboard because when don't I go overboard? I got also the GM size in the with the beige interior because I don't know why I ever got like the fuchsia interior. I'm not that crazy for pink. And yeah, I just need to use this one to get the um, the patina going. The only thing that I don't like about the newer version, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the sides fray a lot. I don't know if you can see that. And this is a problem that I don't see with the older one. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but at the same time, it's like, whatever, it's a never full. It's gonna hold up, or if it doesn't, I'm just gonna take it back. But um, I'm not gonna be too difficult about it, but I'm, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see it over here. It just, it has like all of that weird fraying I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's not what it once was. That's 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 all I'm gonna say. So yeah, how I how do I store them? I keep them one inside the other. Those are the Neverfulls. Now I have two more bags to show to you. One of the bags, and then a third bag that I'm not showing to you, but I'm gonna pop it on the screen because I have it like wrapped up like a little baby. <laughs> I haven't used it um, in a couple of years but it's still a bag that's very close to my heart. I'm not gonna part ways with it. It's a discontinued bag, it's the Dior Diorama bag, but it's one of my most like gentle bags because it's full lambskin. Has a few scratches, but it doesn't bother me. However, it's like sleeping, like a sleeping beauty in its box, all, all padded and covered up. So that is one of the bags that I haven't shown to you. And uh, one but last bag. This is a bag that I already had in my collection because the very last bag is a new one. You have never seen it. Um, but then this one. I love this. This is a magpie piece and I'm generally not a magpie, but I'm starting to understand how cool it is. Oh my God, has anyone seen Selling Sunsets? Like, what are they on season six now? Ooh, pure trash TV, but the outfit, oh my god, I don't even know the girl's name. I mean, I put it on and then I keep on doing my chores and doing stuff, so I don't even know <laughs> most of their names. Um, I, if I find it, I'm going to post it here, but her outfit, ooh, 
the the the, the glitter that, you know what guys when i've lost weight i'm gonna wear a full glitter suit that's what i'm gonna do and i'm not gonna hold back but i really really love this bag this uh, i was really thinking that i was losing it when i got it but you know what even even the hubby approves even he approves of that because he's like okay okay we'll see what you do there okay and since i do wear so much black like a little bit of a pop without being a color um and especially in the winter like winter or winter especially in the winter especially in the winter when there's not a lot of light outside when um when artificial light hits this bag something happens to it and it's just mesmerizing so this is literally my little jewel i love this bag and i wear it mostly in the in the colder months just to have a little bit of a warmth from the uh, crystals now we have gotten to the part where i show you my newest bag those of you who have been around for a little while you will notice perhaps that some of the bags have left the collection and they have um there's no looking back and part of the money that i got from selling them went into this one i got it pre-loved as well so got a really great deal but it's this one so this is the arco bag not the arco tote arco tote is something completely different but this is the arco bag with these awkward looking shoulder straps but boy oh boy i love this bag I've had it for a hot minute and I've been using it non-stop. <sighs> it's just, this is just like a beautiful caramel dream. One of the bags I sold is the one that I replaced this one with. And I have to admit, it's the Celine one. It's the Celine Leandre bag, which I thought I was gonna love loads, but it just didn't work for me. It just didn't work for me. It's a, it was a beautiful bag. But it didn't work for me so a larger tote like this where i can actually fit all of my crap it also fits a laptop uh, it has feet underneath um I do bump into corners that happens with this bag but i don't care i just i just love this one and um i'm really happy with my decision so that was it you guys this was a long winded video if you made it this far wow <laughs> you should go get a life <laughs> no but really um this is one of my favorite videos to watch uh one of my what anyways can you tell i'm really rusty thank you so much for watching and as always i'll see you next time bye